Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Cypress API automation series. So today we are going to talk about our first API that is get API and how you hit from Cypress. So a couple of examples we can take it. Uh, let's see. I have found one really good uh, free APIs. Uh, what you can do is you simply type go rest dot go dot in and there are a number of APIs are available over here you can see that there are a post APIs, get api patch put delete options and head then there are multiple post apis also you can create the user you can create the user post such things you can easily do it over here and it's a really good example with respect to authentication token also here what you have to do is you have to log in first and you have to generate an authentication token you have to generate your bred token so you can see authentication required you can Login with Google, Facebook, or GitHub. Let's see, I'm just going to log in with uh, Google over here. And then I have created one dummy account, September 2020, this one. And then you just simply click on it. And when you click on it, it's saying login from Google successfully done. And this is your authentication token. Then you have to use it. You can regenerate your access token also. It means you can revoke this access token also. And this is your personal token, guys. Please do not share it. After this video, I'm going to revoke this particular token. So what you just need to do, you just copy this particular token and uh, you can go to your postman or you can go to rest console also. So they inbuilt, they have one rest console where you can execute the API. See, this is the API URL. This is the get call. You can select it from here. And then this is a B error. You have to append with the token. So B error B capital, you have to append over here. And this is your authentic authorization header you have to pass. This is a get call. So we don't have any request body and then you send the request from here. The moment you send the request, you can see the response body is coming over here. There are a number of users are available. You can see it over here like that. It's a huge response and this is the response header. Now, this is the exact same thing. I want to do it in Postman. So if you have Postman, you can do the exactly same thing. You can see this is my authentication uh, token that I'll be using it. And then I'm going to send the request that fine give me all the users it's a get call from gores.co.in header i have already added and then you send the request you can see number of users we are getting it over here in postman also if you really want to get a specific user you simply write user by id pass the id as two you can see id equal to two is here it means i should get the data for uh, user patricia so let's run it and let's see you can see i'm getting the data for patricia and this is the response code i'm getting 200 okay here fine so this is through the postman and the rest console you can easily hit it now let's see how exactly you're going to use with cypress so cypress provide one a cy dot a request a method with the help of that you can hit the api you can get the response and in the form of bdd format you can easily validate the response and what are different things you want to validate that you can do that so what exactly i'm going to do that i'll go to my integration because these are my integration test cases and test cases we have to write under integration folder if you haven't uh, downloaded cypress and this is the first time you are watching the video please watch the first video of the series where i've already explained how to download cypress how to configure cypress in visual studio code so go and check it over there and then only you have to watch this video now just simple open this integration and then do, or do one thing just simple create a folder over here under this integration folder i'll write okay these are my api uh, test folder that i have created under this api test folder you have to create a file so let's create a file from this plus icon and let's see this is my file name is get user.js file that you have to create so let's create this file get user.js now here we have to use uh describe and it blocks mocha library by default cypress is using it so we are using some assertions from chai and uh, we are using uh describe and it blocks from the mocha apis okay cypress by default will give you these apis so you don't need to explicitly uh, download those apis in your project so how will you do that but before that you need some auto suggestions also guys so how will you get the auto suggestions you simply write three uh, forward slash over here and you simply write reference right and then simple write types is equal to in double quotes write cypress Okay, so this is called three slash reference type. You have to add it and then I want Cypress suggestions over here. So you will start getting auto suggestions here. Now I'm going to write my first script with the help of describe. 
keyword i'll be using it so you can see that auto suggestions are coming automatically and it's coming from where from mocha so i simple say this is just like in test ng we use at the rate test annotation same thing here we have to use describe and it block we have to write to write the test cases so let's see i'm writing and the function let's see i'm writing uh get user get user or get api user test something like this let's see i'm going to write it and then we just do a callback function like this and start the it block the describe block like that and under describe block you can write multiple it blocks it block is used to write the test cases so i simple writing it block over here like this and then write what exactly this uh, test is all about so write your test function name for example let's see i'm writing get uh, users function that i'm going to write it and then put a bracket again you write a callback and then start it like that and then there is a object you have to use a cypress object with the help of cy and with the help of cy dot the moment you write cy dot you can see number of suggestions are coming cy dot request method you have to use it now this method is saying that to make an http get request you can use it simple write request put a bracket over here and then start within the curly brackets like that okay and then you have to define number of properties here how will you define the number of properties you simple write first what type of method it is it means it's a get call post call or what so i simple write method is simple get call so i simple write get capital over here then do you have any url of course we have that url so url is what url is whatever the url that you are going to use so i'll just pick the url from here so this is my application complete api url that i'm going to use it and then the same url you just paste it over here after that do you have any header yes i have the header so you simple write uh, see headers also you can write it and then header is what so you start the header if you have multiple headers you can start the bracket over here like this so right now let's see i'm having only one header the header is what the header name is authorization so simple write authorization over here okay what is the authorization value the authorization value is this uh, b error this is the first uh, keyword that you have to use it and then you have to use what this is the token that you have to use it so complete i'm just going to copy this particular string and then come over here and i'll just paste it here right so this is the bearer token that i'm going to use it right so this is the first header that i have added if you have more headers you can add some more headers here as well let me remove this unnecessary space and then i'll come over here and then i'll write dot then method see dot then method is there and then i'll store the response in a variable so let's see any response variable you can write it this is res response variable and then as a callback function i'm going to use it now with this particular response the entire response will be stored in this response variable what you just need to do you can use some assertions with the help of chai assertion chai library you can use it so there is a method that is called expect method you can use it here now what exactly you want to expect i simple say that i'm expecting from this particular response you just capture the status code so see the status code should be 100 so i simple write dot to dot equal and then it should be equal to what it should be equal to 200 so this is my first assertion let's see i have written now i want to write some more assertions so let's write expect from the response what exactly you want so see this the response is coming like that if you see over here from the response i want uh go to response body and then from the response body you go to meta and from the meta you go to let's see a total or pages or limit you want to check let's say i want to check the limit attribute so how will you check that so i simple write it response and then from the response i want to go to body so this is what you have to use it response body and from response body same hierarchy you follow meta dot under matter what do you want under matter let's say i want to pick limit here so just copy or you can write it over here matter dot limit and what exactly the limit value if you really want to check that the limit value you can write dot to dot once again equal it should be equal to 20. that also you can write it under matter we have pagination also see we missed one thing under matter we have to write pagination also so i simply write 
dot pagination actually and then dot limit so let's see this is working or not okay so one simple test i have written now let's run it and let's see how exactly cypress is executing this test so we have to open cypress simple go to terminal and from the terminal you simply write npx cypress open make sure no spelling mistake so now here you can see that the cypress runner is getting launched and uh, you can see our integration test cases are already there these are the examples but under api test see exam same example over here api test that we have written get user.js is visible here what you just need to do you just click on it although this is just api but this is the way uh, cypress works it will execute the test in the chrome only you can see test body this is a get call and you can see there are two assertion absolutely got passed expected 200 200 and assertion 20 and which is equal to 20 over here which is absolutely fine and this is my abi a url you can see it over here like that perfect if you really want to rerun it you can rerun it directly from here once again see absolutely working fine so likewise and this is a test name get users so if you really want to write a nice test name better to write let's see get users a test over here the same test will be visible over here moment i save it it will be immediately updated here just stop it and let's run it again okay so when you run it it will open a new browser and then inside the browser it will start running your test you can see get api user test over here now i'll do one thing i deliberately make my assertion fail so let's see how exactly it will respond so i simply say okay instead of 20 give me the limit of uh, 30 here and then save it and let's see so here you can see that automatically this uh, test got executed and you can see 20 to equal to 30 assertion got failed over here and will tell you what exactly the problem which is equal to 30 so this is your expected versus actual result is not coming equally so that's why it got failed you can see some track a uh, stack trace also but that's not that much helpful you can see get user line number 15 but you can check and then come here that okay yeah at line number 15 the assertion got failed here okay now let's write one more test here so how to write one more test you can write multiple it blocks so let's see this is a it block got ended and i'm going to write one more it block here so let me just copy this exact thing and uh, let's write one more test this time i'm writing get user by id test over here this is my uh, test again it will be a get call first i'll show you in the postman or i can directly show you in their uh, uh, console it means when i pass users slash two it means give me the user information only for the second user so second user name is patricia for example like that and you can same thing you can check in the postman also you just run it and you can see patricia is coming so what i want i just want to change my url from users slash to token will remain same status is equal to this limit is equal to let's see let me check the meta pagination is coming what so it's saying data meta is coming null so i simple don't want to verify this thing i simply say okay fine what you do from the response dot body you check something else some different thing let's say i want to check so for example let's say i want to check this time go to body and from body you go to data and then check the name you can see that go to body here go to data and then check the name is patricia so just copy this and i simple write name should be equal to what name should be equal to patricia in single quotes because this is a string so i simply write patricia here so let's see this is a, another test that i have written same thing if you really want to validate something else that also you can validate you can validate this code you can validate any other attribute here perfect so let's run this test and let's see it is working or not so the same test will be reflected here let me just stop it go to get user test now this time we have two it blocks so it should execute two test cases so you can see the browser is launched first is get api user test the first assertion is getting failed the first test is getting failed because of this assertion so that we know that and uh, under this particular thing now the second test is get user by id test which is absolutely working fine and patricia is equal to patricia which is absolutely working fine now this page will automatically refresh the moment i make any changes in my code so let me fix the uh, fix the test over here limit should be equal to 20 only and the moment i save it immediately the test will be executed once again see 
get user test and get user by id test both are absolutely working fine here perfect now if you really want to do one more thing here for example let's see this bearer token is getting repeated again and again right this particular token id let's see tomorrow the token id will be different so what you can do is just copy this token id from here and then you create one global variable at the describe level that you can create that so how will you uh, do that so in this case immediately after describe i'll come over here for example like this and i'll create one a variable with let and then i'll write this is my access of for example token which is equal to what is the token value the token value is this right and the same access token you can use this variable you can use over here so you just need to write this thing over here just remove this and then bearer in bracket and then plus and then the access token like that you can write it okay so same line i'll be writing for the second use case also for the second test also so this is my second test so this access token i have given at the describe level this access token i have used it and then start using it that's it and the same access token i can use in multiple tests over here okay so like this also you can do it so let me just save it and let me quickly check it is working or not let me stop it and let's run it again two test cases are absolutely working fine once again perfect now some other thing you can do it that i what if i want to execute only this particular test so you can write it dot only so when you run this entire thing entire file only it dot only will be executed simple you just come here stop it and run it again and then this time leave one test case should be executed out of two so this is see you can see get user test only second test uh, got ignored fine so like this also you can do it over here okay so this is how we can call the get call and then you can response or get the response and then validate with the help of chai assertions okay so describe an it block is coming because of mocha and expect is coming because of chai assertion and both the libraries will be given to you with cypress by default you don't need to download separately for here okay so that's all for this particular video guys i hope it's very very easy pretty much clear just experiment with any other get call in the next session i'll tell you some more complex uh, post calls and then we will see put call and delete call also that's all for this video guys thank you so much i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all